How much do you actually know about high cholesterol and its impact on your health? Cholesterol, a waxy substance found in your blood, is essential for building healthy cells. However, when levels skyrocket, it becomes a silent enemy, potentially leading to heart disease. It's a conundrum, isn't it? The good news is, there are natural ways to keep it in check. So, if you're keen to understand and manage your cholesterol levels, stay tuned for five effective ways to lower them. Firstly, consider what you're putting into your body. Eating heart-healthy foods can significantly lower your cholesterol levels. It's like fueling a car. The quality of the fuel matters. Now imagine your body as that car and the food you eat as the fuel. A diet rich in whole grains, fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and healthy fats can do wonders for your cholesterol. Whole grains like brown rice and oatmeal have been known to reduce bad cholesterol. Fruits and vegetables loaded with dietary fiber can help lower the risk of heart disease. Lean proteins like poultry and fish are lower in saturated fats, while healthy fats found in avocados and olive oil can help increase good cholesterol. But it's not just about adding good foods, it's also about avoiding the wrong ones. Trans fats found in many processed foods and foods high in cholesterol should be on your avoid list. Remember, your diet plays a crucial role in managing your cholesterol levels. Secondly, get moving. Regular exercise can help raise high-density lipoprotein, HDL, the good cholesterol, while lowering low-density lipoprotein, LDL, the bad cholesterol. Now let's dive into why exercise is a game-changer for your health. Regular physical activity is like a magic potion for your heart. It helps you shed those extra pounds, boost your heart's health, and keeps your cholesterol levels in check. When you exercise, your body works more efficiently, and this efficiency extends to the way your body processes cholesterol. But how can you make exercise part of your day-to-day -day life? It's simpler than you think. You don't need to train for a marathon or spend hours at the gym. Start with brisk walking, cycling, or even dancing. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise most days of the week. Make it fun, make it a habit. So lace up your sneakers and get your heart pumping. Thirdly, if you're a smoker, quitting can improve your HDL cholesterol levels. Smoking is notorious not only for its detrimental effects on your lungs, but also for lowering the good cholesterol in your body. It's like a double-edged sword slicing through your health. The good news is, once you quit smoking, your body starts to repair itself, and your good cholesterol levels can begin to rebound. Quitting smoking can be tough, but the benefits to your cholesterol and overall health are well worth it. Fourthly, limit your alcohol consumption. While moderate use of alcohol can potentially increase your high-density lipoprotein, that's your good cholesterol, too much can lead to serious health problems. It's all about balance. Consuming alcohol in moderation can indeed have some heart health benefits. However, overindulgence can negatively impact not only your cholesterol levels, but also your liver health, blood pressure, and add unnecessary calories to your diet. The key here is moderation. For most people, this means up to one drink a day for women of all ages and men older than age 65 and up to two drinks a day for men age 65 and younger. And remember, a drink is considered 12 ounces of beer, five ounces of wine, or one and a half ounces of distilled spirits. But it's not just about quantity, it's also about frequency. Avoiding daily drinking is crucial to maintaining a healthy balance. Remember, moderation is key when it comes to alcohol. Lastly, strive to maintain a healthy weight. Carrying extra pounds contributes to high cholesterol. It's a hefty truth that weight and cholesterol levels are closely linked. When your weight goes up, so does your LDL or bad cholesterol, while your HDL or good cholesterol takes a nosedive. The good news? Even a modest weight loss can start to reverse this trend. Shaving off as little as 5 to 10% of your body weight can significantly lower your LDL and raise your HDL. So if you're carrying around some extra pounds, it might be time to consider a weight loss strategy. Remember, it's not just about the numbers on the scale, but about improving your overall health. Opt for a balanced, nutritious diet, get regular physical activity, and manage your stress levels. Achieving and maintaining a healthy weight can do wonders for your cholesterol levels and your overall health. To recap on the five ways to lower high cholesterol. First, nourish your body with heart-healthy foods. Second, make regular exercise a staple in your routine. Third, extinguish the habit of smoking. Fourth, 
put a cap on alcohol consumption. Lastly, strive to maintain a healthy weight. These changes may seem small, but their impact on your cholesterol and overall health is monumental. Remember, taking care of your cholesterol levels is a vital part of taking care of your overall health. Do your heart a favor and start making these changes today.